Who's she hiding from? Temple Gore's cracking down. All mages are fair game. Yeah, they round them up like rats. Someone's gotta know more. I'd look for her in a putrid grove. Putrid Grove. Interesting, as names go. A hive of scum and freakery if it ever was one. No decent folk show their hides there. That why you think I should look for my friend there? Oh, I meant no offense. Putrid Grove. Where is it? I wouldn't know. Rumor has it, it's a place for freaks and oddities. You'd fit in well there. Maybe. Thing is, gotta know how to get there. They say you gotta get there through the sewers, but you gotta enter them outside of town. Few know where exactly, though. Ask a beggar. Or spot yourself a thief. Follow him. Beggars and thieves gotta pay tribute to the king of beggars. Word is, they do it in the grove. Mean to say the local beggars have a king? Crown? Scepter? And all that? Wouldn't scoff, mate. King of beggars, it's a moniker. Yeah, for a man who everyone in Novigrad respects deeply. And watch yourself. Menger himself don't even go to the grove. Someone call for me. Wonder why. It's Menger. Temple God. Thieving vermin to the confession chamber. Oh, but sir, what's the offense? This is some sorceress bitchy shop. Think that gives you the right to steal her property? Well, sorcerers, majors of all types are outlaws. But by law, the temple guard takes possession of their belongings. And the rule of law still holds in Novigrad. You know a bat can sniff out a moth a mile away. Got nothing to do with their sense of smell. It's about their hearing. Well, well. Man knows his bats. Here I thought you only cared about monsters. And as bats sense moths, so I sense freaks. And start by warning them. Novigrad's no place for your kind. Heard Novigrad was no place for mages. Now you're telling me it's no place for witchers. So who's it a place for? Righteous folk professing the one true faith in the eternal fire. Nothing I can do to you now, but just know that I know you're here. One misstep, one error, you'll make a mistake, it's inevitable. I'll be the first to learn of it, and when I do, it'll be standard procedure. Like for every magic oddity who dares taint this city's air. Be seeing you. Deepest apologies, Governor. Fetch some metal, you wretch. I've been robbed! Thief! What was it happened to Faltus again? I'm 
thinking? That not apparent to you? Living with you. Stop. Waste of breath. Bloody easy. Take pity on me, misery, good folk, and aid a man crippled by misfortune. Word is, nothing's free in Novigrad. Oh, now the one come bursting with questions. Now, where do you folk gain the idea we beggars know everything? I need to see this, and I need to find that one who robbed me, brother. Fuck if I know. There's this place in Novigrad they call the Putrid Grove. Aye, it's about right. Well, Novigrad's full of nooks and crannies with odd names. Looking to sightsee by a bloody map. Heard men like you frequent this alley. And I've heard they fed you all shit and you smiled and ate it. Now, don't mean no offence. Go in peace. What's he doing here? More cautious than I thought. Can't get too close. Stop! Thief! Ain't that the kingfisher? You're sorted for at least two days. Just gotta adjust the good position where they toss the lift. The gaze of so fierce. Walk a witcher just once. Um, sir, sir, be merciful. Give us a crown, eh? My mum's sick, and if I don't feed her, well. She's like to die hunger. All right, I'll give you some coin, but you gotta tell me where the putrid grove is. I don't know that. Keep your coin, I don't know a thing. Move on. Be gone! Ain't the kingfisher? You're sorted for at least two days. Just gotta adjust the good position where they toss their lift overs. The body bones of France by here. Teeth like cool fellows begging to be seen. He 
sensed something. Gotta stay further back. How is business? Temple guard let even you into the city. Captured and displayed in the sideshow of the circus. Well, officer, take the rest of the county. Greetings, Your Honor. Good to see you again. Bring us the usual. Of course. Keep this up and you'll earn yourselves a preferential rate. Good, I enjoy shagging freaks. And three titted wenches are bad. Open up. Who are you and what you want? Doing some sightseeing. Kind of curious about what's beyond this gate. My brother-in-law was curious. Worms been eating him for five years now. Take a look. What do you see? Yellow eyes. Pair of swords, mutated kill at me fit. Heard this place was a meeting spot for oddities. Heard right. Know the password, get him free. Don't know it. Gotta to contribute to the Graves upkeep. Don't know the password. Pay up. You may enter. Oh, right after you leave me your weapons. They'll be safe in the locker. Not in the habit of parting with my swords. In that case, we must part. Sod off now. Open up. Oh. Oh, right after. Fine. Make sure you don't lose them. No worries. Be waiting for you. What? What ails you? Can't see out one eye, my lord. Picked in other. Thank you, my lord. I mirror all your words. I'd like to repay you. Look positive. Indispensable. I won't listen, my lord. I'm scared of being you. In that case, please convey that if any of you stick his head in the flames of the eternal fire. Now, permit me some rest. Walking about all through a place, scaring things from folk. Eat at the Kingfisher, you're sorted for at least two days.
What are you offering? See you. Here's a copper. Mum, look what I found. How are things? Good. More and more people come. About time we made something clear, sorceress. Yes, high time. Me and my men will manage just fine without the help of you or any other mages. But you, well, without our help, you'll sit in ducks for the temple guard. Who do I spy? Geralt? Atreus. See you two know each other. See you two know each other well. I was curious whether you'd managed to find me, Witcher. Am I mistaken, or you got something to take up with me? Who knows? Man with two swords and the skill to use them could be very useful these days. Could have sent some underling to fetch me. Could have. But I admit I wanted to see how you'd manage. See if you're as crafty as you are well crafted. See, Witcher? I've got plans. Big plans. Far-reaching plans to reshape this city head to toe. Ever thought of seeking a seat on the city council? City council is a puppet troop with the hierarchy of the Church of the Eternal Fire as its puppeteer. Until recently, that is, when Radovid and his witch hunters took the reins. The semblance of power don't interest me. A man with a vision. One day, the so-called free city of Novigrad will be truly free. But before that can happen, we got a riddit of superstition, farting around about the hallowed essence of the eternal fire. Nonsense for kiddies. Apparently not. Cheering crowd at the execution. Mostly adults. Any crowd a rabble will cheer to the stench of burning flesh. But one day, Folk will understand the eternal fire's naught but a leash around their necks. They call this place the Putrid Grove, but it's the rest of Novigrad that's putrefied. This year's the last bastion of normality, sanity, reason. I'm actually glad someone like you's found his way to our city, because it will be our city one day, Geralt. Mark my words. Yours, plural. Yeah, mine, and me friends, but that's a tale for another time. For now, I'll leave you two alone, because I can see, well, you clearly need it. Gerald, I have a lot of things to take care of in town. I'll be glad to tag along. What's your arrangement? He using you? Helping me to survive, actually. Six months ago, if somebody said Triss Marigold would be working for a Novigrad criminal, I'd never have believed it. Six months ago, Triss Marigold parted with someone very dear to her and had to start anew. Hasn't turned out like I imagined. Come on, let me give you a taste of my life.
Madam Sorceress. Beautiful as ever. Damn shame to part. Don't fret. Bound to be back soon. Nice to hear a few kind words, but my friend needs his weapons. Course, I got them. Said I'd have them, give them back. So I'm giving them back. Here's your junk. Thanks. You watch out for yourself, miss. Novigrad's not what it used to be. Not a city for you. I take it you're in Novigrad on important business. Important doesn't do it justice. I'm looking for someone. More precisely? Young woman who's like a daughter to me. Her? Here? No, impossible. She was here. There are witnesses, evidence. Was hoping you'd heard something. You've been here a while. I need you to help me find something, anything, a trace. I'll do everything I can, of course. Who might know more? Klug, managed to get those magic incense ingredients? Yes, somewhat with uh, difficulties, you might say. I was walking along the canal with a sack full of goodies for you. Looked up and spied a trio of temple guards coming the other way. Get to the point, Klug. No time today for one of your long stories. Wait! A sack full of magicalities and they were coming straight towards me. I don't easily frighten, but... Uh, I felt a cold sweat on my arse, I did. I'm afraid I had no choice. I dropped the sack in the water. I had to! When asked why, I claimed it contained a dead cat. You shan't believe this, but they believe me. I need that package, Klug. I've got a contract. It must be on the canal bed. Luckily, it was heavy enough to sink. I'm sure it'll turn up if you search. You expect me to pay you, then die for my goods into that ice-cold filth? in from the harbor. I didn't expect such devotion. Wanted to freshen up anyway. Let's go. Stop. Hear that? They've come for us. The pool didn't break until I began to prick his heels. Every man's got his sensitive spots. Interrogated a mage once. Pain couldn't touch him. Tore off his fingernails, crushed his bollocks. Nothing. Turned out he was devilishly ticklish. I placed a beetle on his belly and set a mug atop it. Damn it, it went bad. We were lucky this time, but you'd best leave via the sewers. The trapdoor's in the floor. Take care of yourself, Clue.
city of Novograd. And I actually used to mean something. The very reason. Just came here after the massacre at Loch Nguyen. Thought they'd be safe from Radovid's reapers. Instead, they jumped out of the frying pan into the fire. But Novigrad stands on top of a mountain of coin, and winning a war takes three things coin, coin, and even more coin. That's why they're exterminating mages, confiscating their property and possessions. And they'll go after non humans next. The elves occupy slums, but the dwarves practically control financial life in the city. Official word is that Novigrad will remain neutral. Somehow Judging by what Klug said, the parcel anymore. should be around here on the bottom. Unless the poor man was mistaken. He's been forgetful ever since Manga interrogated him. Seems to be suffering from a persecution complex, too. Current must have carried the sack seaward. I'll swim towards the port. Coming with? Uh, maybe some other time. Don't know what you're missing. Water's thick with pungent oils. Guessing it'll do wonders for my complexion. Find the parcel? Or did you get wet for no reason? Nothing like a refreshing swim in a filthy canal. Found a few fish, a rusty anchor, the carcass of a boat. Oh, and this. Oh, my package. Hope the contents aren't soaked through. Oh, you're a doll. Seem to be in your element. Still remember my elements? How I use them? Come on. Six months isn't that long. It's not like I'm senile. But you do have a history of amnesia. I've recovered my memory completely. Good. That should stop people from taking advantage of you. Someone's been taking advantage of me. I have, for one. I've never even intimated. We need to hurry. Did you see those poor wretches who fled Benin? Greetings, sorceress. Greetings, Brandon. I didn't expect you to bring company.
Is that a problem? By the eternal fire, no. I'm surprised, that's all. Together, I expect you resolve things twice as fast. You've the look of true experts. But I'd prefer you not to tarry and begin. Triss, you and Brandon here. You've agreed a price. We settled on a full coin purse. Brandon and Co. is a serious outfit. We've the largest granary in all Novigrad. You're a merchant, familiar with how commerce works. Of course. Honest pay for honest work. Half up front, half once the job's done. You're asking a great deal. I'm a witcher. Gotta admit, I've met my share of people who say one thing beforehand, another after the fact. Hmm. Very well. Your first installment. We need to place these crystals around the granary, near anything that looks rat-related. cover half the space. You take the other half. Look for evidence of rat activity. Mm-hmm. Thing is, I know what evidence of manticore activity looks like, but rodents? Geralt, we'd both rather be somewhere else. I'd rather be sitting in a royal council meeting, but they killed my king. Look for crevices, and draw things. Once we place this incense, what then? I'll cast a spell and the rats will leave. Can't do that without sprinkling incense? I don't really feel up to looking for rat shit. Stop whining. Looks like a good spot. I don't like that guy. Brandon? I don't either. He's much too fat. Can't help but agree. But no. Notice how he didn't try to haggle? Must really want the rats out. Triss, he's a merchant. He makes his living by haggling. I think I plugged every hole in there. All right. Get ready for some magic fireworks. Once I activate the incense, we'll have a moment to talk. Now we wait for them to scurry away. Interesting method. Never had much luck with rats. Once I hit one with a fork in complete darkness, trying to show off my witcher's senses. Masterful throw, really. Problem was, no one else saw it. How could they in the dark? <laughs> so, what do you think? Rat catcher? It's a long way to fall from being advisor to Temeria's king. I'm just glad to see you safe and sound, and... Reconciled? I 
I was worried about seeing you again. Doubted it could be pleasant. We said everything there was to say six months ago. I don't want to go back to that. I'm not going back to it. It's just... It's one thing to say something, it's another to actually do it. We promise to remain friends. I hope nothing will change that. So, tell me how Yen's doing? How do you know I found her? You didn't answer my question. How's Yen? Don't know yet. Asking about anything specific? Never mind. I got my answer. Well, well. Are lovebirds having themselves a little chat instead of working? The job's done. Geralt, those are... I know who they are, Triss. My friends begged me to notify them if I encountered a mage, sorceress, what have you. Didn't have the heart to refuse. It's a trap, Geralt. This stank from the start. Let's agree your friends were never here. Now pay the rest and let's part in peace. You don't set the terms, mutant. Stay out of it. We're here for the witch. We're inseparable, see? Afraid you'll have to take us both. Geralt! If you say so. All right, we've talked. Do what you gotta. Just remember, I can't help but get in your way. Heard enough from this horse, son. As have I. Nida is to leave here alive. We need to find Brandon. Don't kill me. Good sir, no. They forced me. Had I not told them, they'd have set fire to my home, my warehouse. The mage hunters know no mercy. Spare me, good man. Be not like those murderers. Shut up. I should kill you. Thing is, you'd be no good to anyone but the gulls as a corpse. So you'll live, and pay us double. Now. F fine. Your coin. Now, get. Thanks, Geralt.
You should try to keep better company. He was still better than some mages. You know, I've been thinking who might know something about Siri. And I just got an idea. There's an Oniromancer in town, Kareen Tilly. Very capable, supposedly. Never trusted in Dreamer's abilities myself. Kareen's been very effective. You should at least try. She's taken a job close by. Follow the canal away from the fish market. The house is near the first bridge. Its owner, Dijon Kier, is a rich banker. Not coming with me? I've got some things to take care of. Another rat infested warehouse? Not exactly. Nothing even remotely satisfying. Such are the times. It was nice to see you again. You too, Geralt. You should go now. Before Kareen goes back into hiding somewhere. What if I want to find you? I live in the bits, near the fish market. Stop by. It'll be nice. All right. See you later. Just passing by, wanderer? Or do you seek something specific? Who's asking? Rudolf de Jonkier. Of those de Jonkiers, yes. My ancestors laid the foundations of this city. I now own its largest bank. Didn't need a recommendation. Name would have been enough. Father always said, all ought to know your merits, son. Don't hide them under a bushel. I'm looking for Corrine Tilly. Oh, you've come to the right place, then. Corrine is inside. Been there for a few days, dreaming the home's history. Not interested in what's going on inside? Seeing it for yourself? I'm a banker. Cursed homes scare me. Do you know how a haunting can affect property value? Point of fact. Corinne requested she not be disturbed. Why do you need to know the house's history? You a historian or on a whim? I bought this property a short while ago. Paid a pretty penny, I might add. Soon after, I witnessed disturbances. Led me to fear the home might be haunted. What are the symptoms? Oh, they vary. Giggling in the night. And furniture moving about in the attic, and last week... Well, you shan't believe it. I found human feces in the parlor. I'd like to go inside, look around. I don't usually let strangers rummage around my home. Twin swords, though. You're a witcher. You may enter, call that my whim. The second sword, is it in case the first one breaks?
Wake up. It's just a dream. Wake up. The doll. The attic. stuff. A doll. Drawing shows it lying in a cradle. Maybe I should find one. Another masterpiece. An oven and a blackened grate. Oh joy. A riddle. Guess I should find an oven. Did I scare you? Scared you, didn't I? I can tell you were scared. Big brave man scared of wee little Sarah. Ain't that funny? I wouldn't do that anymore if I were you, Sarah. You might scare someone so bad they'll hurt you. Why would someone hurt me? Having a spot of fun's not allowed anymore. What are you playing? That lady fell asleep, and I've sent her some horrible dreams. I'll not her wake, neither. I can do that, you know. Funny, isn't it? Very funny. Thing is, I gotta talk to the dreamer. So I'd like you to let her wake up. 
Little Sarah doesn't want her to wake. Little Sarah wants to play. You're lucky. I know you're a harmless godling, but others might not know, and then... And how'd you know I'm a godling, eh? How's that, eh? Eh? If it looks like one and acts like one, trust me, you're a godling. You give the dreamer nightmares and won't let her wake up. Why are you tormenting her? I'm not tormenting anyone. Scary dreams are great. What I love is when this big hen chases me. Hen's got these red... Why do you live in a haunted house? Tell you a secret. <laughs> the house ain't haunted. Not one bit. I just pretend it is. Make everyone think that. It was sitting there all empty. So I moved in. Bigwig from the bank then came and bought it. I don't like bankers, especially not to live with. So I decided to give him a scare. Gave the banker a really big scare. See, he paid a lot for this house and won't give it up easily. Which is why you need to find another home. I don't want to! I don't! I won't! Sarah, Novigrad's no place for a godling. But if you want to live here, that's your business. So let's make a deal. A deal? What kind? Leave the dreamer alone. In exchange, I'll tell the banker the house is haunted. For good, no way to lift the curse. You tell him that? What if he doesn't believe you? I'm a witcher. He'll believe me. Yes. Yes. Yes! Do that and I promise not to bother your friend. Not even a little. You're awfully nice, you know. I don't hear that often. Thanks. Now go wake that sleepyhead. I won't stop her. She'll get up. Good day. But your yellow eyes are a bit frightening. Look, mine are pretty. Ow! Who are you? Triss Marigold sent me to see you. Gods. Horrible nightmares. I was supposed to dream the history of this house. Instead, I saw furniture. Hungry furniture that wished to devour me. I know it must sound foolish. But in the dream... Well, it was all too real. And not at all amusing. The work of a godling. She made people believe the house was haunted. Also injected your dreams with her little jokes. And you managed to wake me. I feel fortunate. We witchers have our ways. I thank you very much. The dreams, they were awful. Any way I can pay you back? There is, actually. I'm looking for a young woman who was seen in Novigrad. I can certainly try to help. But I'll need to clear my head first. After those deranged dreams, I feel it's full of cobwebs. Find me at the Golden Sturgeon. I rent a room there. All right. See you there. I saw Miss Corrine leave, but she refused to speak to me. Is the matter resolved? Or quite the opposite? A bit of both. A demon had captured Corrine. I managed to free her, but the house is still haunted. Did Corrine dream of the building's past? Yeah. 
Pretty horrid, apparently. Though she refused to talk about it. Nobody should inhabit the place. So many crowns I paid! Oh, well. It shan't put me in the poorhouse. The truth is, really. Come on, Roach. Run, Roach. Yeah. Oh. He Not quite, but what's it about? I hear right you're going on some voyage, need a companion. Not just some voyage, across the sea. Mark this. When I got pressed into the infantry in 1242, I promised my beloved letter I'd return alive, whole, and with a pearl from Skellige. Not just any pearl either, a black one, the rarest and most precious. Well, well. Ambitious. Perhaps. But they were empty words. I came from the war. That one, and the next. But I never fulfilled my promise. High time to change that. Or if not now, then when? Thing is... I've grown old in the meantime, as you see. Can't manage it alone. Need a strong shoulder to lean on. Which your shoulders as strong as they come. So, what do you say? Easier than it is sane, but there's an irresistible charm to it. Offer me some pay and I'll help you out. Don't you fret about coin. I brought home a good deal of it from various fronts. Say we meet in Skellige, by the collapsed bridge near Arenbjorn. It's but a hop away from the bed where black pearls are born. Will that work for you? Sounds fine. You won't eat, did we? Uh. 
Help some fellas out, master. We're a bit of coin short another round. Because we're comrades, see? Witcher, ain't you? We're butchers. You slaughter, we slaughter. Except witches earn more. Old villagers pitch in. Lords open their purses. Ladies do life with their legs. Guess I've been to the wrong villages. Dealt with the wrong lords and ladies. Come, don't make us beg. What's the witcher for, anyways? To help men in need. Believe me, doing you a big favor by not giving you coin. Now let me through. Whoa, master, you best watch your words. We share a trade, but that don't mean you can treat us like dogs. Sh shut it. You'll bring misfortune on us. He's a witcher, can't you see? Out of my way. We won't do it. I will. I'll not take orders from anyone. In fact, not the least of fear to teach a witcher some manners. Enough. We've seen your point, Master. Go home. You're done here. Burgers and Burgesses of the free city of Nurnigrad. Master Claytop, that would be me, has the honor to announce the betting is now open. George, oh. no oh, dick. Is the about you wild dick. Right. Oh, glass tastes as sweet. dream in here never witnessed a seance like this before let alone participated i will guide you you must first achieve a kind of mental accord i must ask some questions you must answer them it's important you're truthful answer from your heart your gift tell me how it works it's hard to describe to start with I must gain an understanding of the bond between the person and the object I'm to dream about. I ask questions, try to flesh out feelings, emotions. Truth is essential in this. And though most who come to me acknowledge that, many refuse to speak openly of certain matters. Apart from which, they remain unaware of others, further obscuring things. What do you see in your dreams? I don't. It's my client who sees. My gift lies in summoning the right dreams. At times, nightmares or strong desires impose themselves on true events. It takes skill to separate seed from chaff. Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this woman. What for? Do as I ask, please. I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Siri. The woman's name is Siri. Siri was orphaned during the Second War with Nilfgaard. I had no idea what to do with a young girl. So I did what I would have done with a boy and took her to Kaer Morhen. Figured some physical training, sword work, development of her stamina couldn't hurt. I remember her standing on a crumbling wall. A stone came loose. She lost her footing. Caught her at the last possible instant. 
Strongest memory, though, was of her coming out of her room one day, wearing a dress and claiming she was indisposed. Knew then that Siri was maturing. It was unavoidable. I was lost in the face of that. I see. Do you wish to tell me anything more? Yes, I think so. In that case, I'm listening. It was in Rivia. The second war with Nilfgaard had just ended. There was still tension in the air. For gods know what reason, race riots erupted in the town. I tried to do something, but... couldn't stop a riled crowd. A boy with a pitchfork. He ran it right through my gut. Jennifer lay dying as well. Siri had us carried onto a boat. We sailed to a place where apple trees bloom eternal. She left us there. That was the last time I saw her. Is there anything you'd like to add? Another memory, perhaps? Yes, there's something... All right. Tell me no more than you wish to. It was after her time training at Kaer Morhen. After the moment when Yennefer first called Ciri her daughter. We'd been separated. I knew she was in danger. I dreamt of her multiple times. I found her at Stiga Castle. She'd gone there to free Yen and gotten herself captured in the process. They wanted to hurt her. I remember fighting side by side with Ciri on stairs slippery from blood. It was the first time she ever deflected a crossbow bolt with her sword. Told her never to try it again. These memories, they're intense. Do you wish to continue? No. Let's continue. You claim the woman has abilities. Tell me about them. Call Siri the Lady of Space and Time. Once I asked Yennefer why, she travels between worlds. <sighs> Turns out I don't know how to talk about it. Didn't really understand much of what Yen told me. I just know there's more to it than traveling to different places, and that Siri carries immense power in her blood. I see. Do you wish to say more? No. Can we start? Naturally. I knew you cared about her. But your tone, the emotions you so carefully conceal. Let's continue, please. Make yourself comfortable and try to relax. You must take my hand and talk of Siri. Tell me where you think she might be. Who could be at her side? Mm -hmm. If Siri couldn't find me, I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean? Yennefer wasn't in Novigrad. Triss was. But Ciri never found her. Maybe Dandelion? They liked each other a lot.
effect of a swallow at first. After that, just nightmares. At times, the dreams can multiply. Show the past as well as the future. The swallow. It symbolizes Ciri. She contacted Dandelion. I didn't know he was in town. The poet? Heard about him. Someone left him the rosemary and thyme in their will. The rosemary and thyme? Where's that? As you enter the city through the red light district, you come upon a bridge. The rosemary is just past it. Dandelion inherited a brothel? So I've heard. Thanks for your help. Good luck, Witcher. I hope you find your Siri.
Watch it, Tran. Moby Grant's watching.